Vehicle propulsion has come a long way since the diverse propulsion inventions of the 19th century. Today, we have internal combustion engines and the newly favored electric motor. But we also have rotary engines, which are a type of internal combustion engine with smoother and better operation. Mazda is a huge fan of these engines, and they have rolled out a new rotary engine that they believe will challenge the EV industry. Join us as we take a look at Mazda's new rotary engine and how it can disrupt the EV industry. The amazing story of Mazda's rotary engine began with the dream of a young German named Felix Wankel when he was just 17 years old in 1919. Felix dreamed of creating a new kind of gasoline engine. Even though he had no engineering experience with internal combustion engines, he was determined to chase his dream. His goal was to invent a simple engine that could perform all the stages of internal combustion, intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust, in a new and better way compared to regular piston engines. He came up with a unique design that used a rotating triangular rotor in a peanut-shaped chamber. After many years of hard work and setbacks, Felix Wankel and his team at NSU Motorworka finally built a working prototype of the rotary engine in 1959. This caught the attention of several car manufacturers, including Mazda. Mazda's president at that time, Tsuneji Matsuda, saw the potential of the rotary engine and wanted to use this technology to make Mazda stand out and be more competitive. So Mazda signed a contract with NSU Motorwork to develop the Wankel rotary engine for commercial production. As a result, Mazda became known for producing iconic rotary-powered cars like the Mazda Cosmo, RX-7, and RX-8. These cars offered a unique driving experience with their high revving and smooth power delivery. Now, Mazda is bringing this engine back, but with some differences. While it may be different from its predecessors, this latest iteration of the rotary engine comes with various notable improvements that make it a promising power plant for the modern age. The new Mazda MX-30 Rev features a single rotor rotary engine, a departure from the dual rotor rotary engine that was renowned for its performance in the previous RX-8 model. This change in design might raise eyebrows as enthusiasts have grown accustomed to the power and rev-happy nature of the dual rotor engines. However, Mazda's approach to the new rotary engine is driven by a focus on efficiency and sustainable mobility. Despite its lower revs and slightly reduced power output compared to the RX-8 engine, Mazda's engineers have cleverly enhanced the new rotary power plant to deliver a more refined and eco-conscious performance. The implementation of direct fuel injection into the combustion chamber is a notable improvement. By injecting fuel directly into the chamber, Mazda ensures better fuel atomization and combustion leading to improved efficiency and reduced emissions. This advancement represents a significant leap forward for rotary engine technology as it addresses one of the challenges faced by previous rotary engines regarding fuel consumption and emissions. Another innovative addition to the new engine is the use of exhaust gas recirculation, EGR. This technology helps enhance efficiency, particularly during low loads and low RPMs, by recirculating some of the exhaust gases back into the engine. The EGR system can reduce the amount of work required to maintain engine temperature, resulting in improved fuel economy and lower greenhouse gas emissions. Furthermore, EGR helps reduce the production of nitrogen oxides, which are harmful pollutants emitted during combustion. Despite having only a single rotor, the engineers have managed to optimize the engine's performance while keeping fuel efficiency and emissions in check. This approach aligns perfectly with Mazda's vision for the future as they aim to strike a balance between driving enjoyment and environmental responsibility. Mazda is also now using aluminum side housings instead of iron, contributing to weight savings and making the engine more lightweight and efficient. Additionally, the application of a spray-on plasma ceramic coating improves wear and reduces friction, enhancing the engine's overall performance and durability. Another notable enhancement is the wider apex seals, which are now up to 2.5 millimeters wider representing a 25% increase. This modification results in improved wear resistance, increasing the engine's longevity and reliability. However, despite these advancements, there is some disappointing news for enthusiasts of the traditional rotary engine. The end engine is now utilized solely as a range extender in the Mazda. In the Mazda MX-30 Rev, instead of directly powering the wheels, the rotary engine spins up a generator. This generator then provides power either directly to a battery or to an inverter, which in turn powers an electric motor that drives the vehicle. This means there is no direct mechanical link between the engine and the driven wheels. 
While this configuration allows Mazda to take advantage of the rotary engine's benefits, such as its compact size and smooth operation, it might disappoint fans who were hoping for a direct revival of the iconic rotary-powered sports cars of the past. In the Mazda MX-30 Rev, the rotary engine serves as a range extender for the fully electric vehicle. It doesn't directly power the MX-30, but instead, it generates electricity to charge the battery or power an electric motor that drives the vehicle. However, there are exciting rumors and leaked patents surrounding the concept Mazda RX-9. It's suggested that the RX-9 might feature a tri-rotor rotary engine along with an electric motor. This setup indicates that the RX-9 could potentially be a hybrid vehicle, combining the power of the rotary engine and the electric motor to drive the wheels directly. So, how exactly does the Wankel rotary engine work? The Mazda Wankel rotary engine works similarly to a standard piston engine, but with some differences. Instead of pistons, it uses triangular-shaped rotors mounted on a shaft. These rotors move in a circular motion within a special housing. The engine cycle begins when the rotor creates a space in the housing, allowing the air and fuel mixture to enter. Next, the rotor compresses this mixture as it moves along the housing. Once compressed, the mixture is ignited by two spark plugs. During the combustion phase, the resulting explosion moves the rotor due to the expansion of the chamber. At the end of the cycle, the exhaust gases from the combustion are expelled from the housing. The cycle then repeats continuously, with each rotor completing multiple cycles per shaft revolution. A standard four-stroke piston engine is made up of at least 40 moving parts, including pistons, connecting rods, valves, timing gears, and the crankshaft. In contrast, the rotary engine offers a significant reduction in moving parts. A single rotor rotary engine has just two moving parts, the rotor and the eccentric shaft. Even with the addition of more rotors, such as in a two-rotor rotary engine, the number of moving parts remains remarkably low, with only three moving parts, the two rotors and the eccentric shaft. This simplicity in design is one of the key reasons why many people considered the rotary engine to be a revolutionary technology right from its early stages. The concept was so promising that Felix Wankel, the inventor, received support from his government during the initial development of the engine. Similarly, the Japanese government supported Mazda in its rotary endeavors, allowing the company to work independently and explore the full potential of this innovative technology. The reduction in moving parts not only simplified the engine's construction, but also offered several advantages, including improved reliability and reduced maintenance requirements. Additionally, the rotary engine's smooth and high revving nature made it appealing to enthusiasts and contributed to its reputation as an advanced and futuristic propulsion technology. Another significant benefit of Mazda's Wankel rotary engine is its quiet and smooth operation. Unlike the piston engine, which completes the thermodynamic cycle in 720 degrees, the rotary engine does it twice as fast in just 360 degrees. This, combined with the smooth motion of the rotor, enables the rotary engine to achieve incredibly high revolutions while maintaining low engine vibrations. If this engine is this good, why did Mazda stop making it in the first place? Since adopting the Wankel rotary engine, Mazda stood out as one of the few automakers that persevered with the technology. While other companies gave up on the rotary engine, Mazda remained committed to Tsuneji Matsuda's initial vision, keeping the dream alive with a dedicated team of engineers. Throughout the development process, the project faced skepticism even within Mazda, as many viewed it as a costly endeavor. However, the company continued to invest in continuous solutions and improvements allowing the rotary engine to survive and evolve. Despite Mazda's tenacity, the challenges became more significant as stricter emissions regulations were implemented in the United States and other major markets. Eventually, the production of the rotary-powered RX-8 came to an end in 2012. The discontinuation of the RX-8 marked a turning point, and Mazda shifted its focus to explore new ways to utilize or improve the rotary technology. While the rotary engine was no longer in production for conventional vehicles, Mazda continued to study and innovate, seeking potential applications or advancements for this unique power plant. But Mazda didn't give up on this engine, and it has now made a comeback.